Yo, demand you to listen, guru so prolific, deciphering hieroglyphics, play close attention, yeah. Keep it raw, real, and uncut The guru, son, the chosen one The man with the golden gun Witness the knowledge that rolls off my tongue And let your mind soak it all in Like a sponge What's up, people? It's the guru Welcome to the channel, we keep it real, raw, and uncut um, This next video is a repost Off of my guru time channel I'm trying to do a little experiment To see whether or not I'm um, I should keep this segment or I should start posting it on my stream guru channel because it's uh, way more popular uh, so let's check it out uh, critique the material tell me what you think should I keep posting these uh, on the, uh, the, prom, the prom channel should I add it to the supreme guru channel or should I disregard this segment altogether so uh, let's tell me what you think to my subs or if you would have seen this video before uh, disregard, I haven't added any more new content to the video, it's just a pure repost, so, uh, I mean, if you want to watch it again, you can, you know, it's all cool, but, uh, tell me what you think, this is Guru, I'll let y'all fellas play, peace. What's up, people, it's a Guru, welcome to the channel, we keep it real raw and uncut, today I'm gonna do a, um, I'm gonna try a new segment out on people, man, see how... See how people perceive this, man. I'm going to do something. This new segment going to be called... Uh, I'm going to call it The Wag. Yeah, it's going to be The Wag. The world according to Guru, man. Um, I'm just going to give my opinion on uh, different top topics from time to time, man. And um, See how y'all feel about it. See how y'all perceive it, man. I'm going to see how, people, how the people react to this, man. Um, if I get a good response from this uh, first one... I'm probably make it like a, I guess a weekly, maybe a weekly segment of, so, you know, it all depends on the response I get from it, but, um, I was going to be talking about different topics, man, it might be serious, something might be funny, you know, whatever, that, whatever pops in my mind, or it might be something that's trending in the, um, trending out there, and I might want to speak on it, you know, whatever, man, it is what it is, but, um, today I'm going to talk about finding Mrs. Miss, Mrs. Right or Mr. Right, whatever it be, you know, if you're a woman, you know, you might be looking for Mr. Right, you're a man, you might be looking for M Mrs. Right, or you could be a woman looking for Miss Right or a man looking for Mr. Right, you know, whatever it may be, man, but um, I really can't talk on that too much because uh, I'm a straight male, so I don't know how it goes to, you know, in the gay and lesbian community, you know, I can't really speak on that because I don't know much about it, but um, as far as men and women go, you know, I'm well versed in that, you know. I've been been around the, been around the world a little bit, man. Time or two, I've seen some things, done some things. Made made a little love to various chicks out there, so I, I know a little something, something, man. Um, in this in this thing we call life, man. But um, people always stick in the, you know, people. I find them that they try to see like what movies and TV and media says uh you gotta find your soul made and they gotta be perfect and people actually try to follow that up like he gotta be this kind of weight this height uh this much money this kind of job this kind of income uh he gotta have this much uh penis or whatever you want to call it man you, you you ain't never gonna find nobody perfect like that man if you did find them you ain't gonna want them because they're gonna be boring that's why most time You'll notice people kind of find something that's opposite, you know, opposites attract, you know, because that, that's more exciting, man, because you, you don't know what's going to happen, man. If somebody's all predictable and boring and you know what they're going to do and you know how they think, you know, you you, you kind of want to cheat on them because when that bad boy comes along, man, he's more exciting than this old boring cliche dude that you know everything about, man. So that's how that go right there. So you got to be, be careful about trying to find a perfect soulmate or being all picky. Uh, men, too, man. I find men, men are starting to get worse than women about this stuff, man. Always, uh, she got to be this weight and this color. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, brothers these days, man, you know, they trying to leave a sister go to the, to the white chicks. You know, that's another topic altogether, man. But, you know... You know why? Why it's gotta be like that, man? Why, why can't you just find somebody and be happy with them? You know, it, it ain't gotta. It ain't. She ain't got to be all the things. She. Ain't, you can't. You ain't never gonna find somebody that's actually on that list. You're not gonna find this perfect being just walking around. It's impossible, man. I mean, you might. 
you might stumble upon a person that you fall, you know, you fall in love with them, uh, infatuation, whatever you want to call it, and the person's real cool, and it might seem like they're perfect for you, and they say, well, this is my soulmate. You know what I'm saying? That stuff happens a lot. You know, I, I you know, I can't, uh, I can't lie on that. That does happen, but you know, when you start making lists and stuff like that, man, and all these, uh, all these different little categories and all that, and blue eyes and curly hair and all kind of stuff like that, that ain't gonna happen, man. It, 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 it ain't happen. Life don't really work like that, man. You know, that's why all these um, people making all these money off these internet websites trying to um, perfect match and all this and christiandate.com and stuff like that and try to find your perfect mate man just find who you find man you know that's that's where it's supposed to work out um you find somebody out there you vibing them they vibe you y'all get it together boom you know do what y'all do and that's a lovely thing right there man that's that's how that's how nature's supposed to go you know, a lion don't walk around looking like I'm. I'm gonna pass up this line. That's to find the line. He find the one he want to get down with. And he do they do their thing together. That's um that's nature right there, man. That's the natural order of things. You know, but that's how that go, man. But if you're a fella, man, you know you're looking for a certain type of chick. You know, there's a couple of places you can find them. You know, you know I know a lot of times people don't, people don't want to believe in God and stuff like that no more. That's your opinion. You know, you don't got to be a, a religious person or anything like that but um a good person a good place to actually find a woman is in church um because i've, I've noticed that uh if you go to church man even if they ain't at that that level or whatever what you call it, i know a lot of people say church people are hypocritical and stuff well if the church people are hypocritical the thing how hypocritical the the worldly people are you know what i'm saying that's not keeping it real because you like to dance with the devil you know what i'm saying uh, I, I want to find somebody that's trying to do right and try to be right. You know, that's just me. But hey, you might want somebody that's a worldly person, man. If that's what you're looking for. You can go to these worldly places to find that um, that person. But um, if you're a fella, man, you know, you can go to church, man. You know, you got to be picky, though, man. Because, you know, some chicks leave the club, go straight to church, and, they, you know, she out clubbing all night, Saturday night, to the morning time. And then she comes to church with the day on club stamp still on her hand. She on the church praising God, you know what I'm saying? She's been sinning all night. You know, you don't want that type of girl, man. So you, you got to be careful wherever you go, man. You, and you definitely don't want no club chick, man. You, you you, you know, the club is a bad place, man. That's a place where everybody's just a den of sin, man. You know, people go in there to get freaky and drinking and all the bumping and grinding and stuff like that. You know, sexting, you know, that that's a worldly place, man. I mean, you go there just to get your rocks off. That's what, you know. That's what I would go there for. I wouldn't be going there looking to find no mate. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cause them girls, they like to sleep around, man, and teeds and all that stuff. And you really don't want that in your life, man. Uh, just think, man, cause you know they go around, man, sleep with these guys at the club and stuff like that, man. They might just say they sleep with a guy once a month. You know what I'm saying? They meet at the club. That's 12 months in a year. Y'all know that, man. That's 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 12 dicks in one year. That's a lot, man. And like I said, that's not including how many how many dicks she had on her record in the past. You know what I'm saying? You know that that rap she's getting kind of long, man. You don't want no girl with dang on forty or fifty penises on her on on her on her rap sheet, man. That, that's not a good look for you, man. And you know, you go back to a hometown and stuff, man. Everybody laughing at you because you know everybody been in your woman and stuff, man. That, you know that ain't no fun, man. You know you don't you don't want to be the no clown man everybody banged out your girl and stuff like that man that's not cool man but um you know everybody got a pass you know you did some things you know you 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 should have been doing so you can't really blame a woman for doing the same thing but same time man i hate to use the word man you don't want to you don't want to be uh wifeying up no hoe man you you really don't want that man don't don't, don't be a captain kirk man you don't a uh, captain save hoe we's you, you know, we used to call them Kirks, man. You don't want to be no Kirk, man. Captain Kirk, old lurch-ass dude, man. You don't want to be that dude just a sucker-for-love kind of cat, man. You know, saying a girl smile at him, wink at him, uh, get a man some good-loving, man, and you falling in love and running behind this chick, man. You know, you have some sense when it comes to stuff like this, man. Don't, don't, don't put your heart out there, man, because it's easy to get your heart broke, man. And men don't handle heartbreak that good, man. It, Women handle heartbreak a lot better than men because women cry, they emotionally get it all out. But men, you know, man, man, that's why men be committing suicide and stuff, man. They can't, they can't take that kind of emotion and stuff like that, man. So you gotta be careful who these, uh, 
chicks you meet, you decide to make make your mate, your your girl or whatever, man. Cause women are powerful, man. Women, women always have power over men. Um, and when a woman knows how to wield that power, man, that's a dangerous weapon right there, man. Uh, <laughs> I tell you, man, a lot of women have hemmed up a lot of good dudes, man. I mean, men them changed their religion. Wars been fought over women, man. Women, women have caused men to kill themselves, man. Kill their friend, lead their families, man. Uh, just destroy homes over a woman, man. The power to P-U-S-S-Y. Brothers get haircuts trying to act fly. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z said, Jay-Z said it best, man. You know? That's how it go there, man. And uh, so be careful on that, man. I know these uh, club chicks and these these, these worldly women, they exciting, man. Um, like I said, what you worth? You like to having fun. Have fun with them, man. Do your thing, man. I, you know... That's what it is a folk, man. But if you're looking for Miss Wright, man, you don't want that kind of chick on your team, man. That's, that ain't going to be a good look for you, dude, really. But um, that's how that go. But for the women, you know what I'm saying? Women, you need to find a man that's just about something. Find a, find a man, a real man. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, because he got a, a goatee or whatever. He of the age of 18 or whatever you want to call it, or 21, whatever you consider a man. That You know, that don't make you a man. You know, when a man, uh, to me, a man is a dude that can stand on his own. When you when you when a man approach you, you you know a man when you see one. He got that vibe. You know this dude is he he legit. He ain't no he ain't no mama's boy. He he handling his business. He ain't looking at mama and daddy to take care of him. He pay his own bills. He make his own way. That's a man right there, man. Um, don't find these little boys around here running around in little saggy pants and thing on skinny jeans and tight little colorful rainbow shirts looking like rainbow man and stuff you know you don't 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 fall for the little trendy stuff little kiddie stuff man that, that's not no man that's a, that's a little boy playing playing you know what i'm saying he's still playing make-believe following up stuff on tv it's cool he got dressed like little wayne and all that stuff you don't want nobody like that man you want somebody to carry himself upright you know what i'm saying you you even if the man he ain't gotta be a professional man the dude could be a dang on janitor that's right, a janitor, man. But if, if that dude got, if he, if he a righteous man, if he a a, a, a man of character, of honor, man, that's a, hey, you can make it work, make it work. That's the kind of guy you need. Um, you don't want to do running the street with all these baby mamas and drama like that, man. And I don't care how good the loving was, he put it down in the bedroom and stuff like that. He might have a good personality. He might be fly. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's a lot of fly people out here, man. You know, he, he might be to get fresh. You know. And I see how people get jiggy with that, man. But you know, that that might not be right for you. That might not be a good look. You know, I mean, um, like all women like dogs. You know, they say what? You know, women, y'all know, y'all say like, well, we don't like no dog. Y'all do like dogs. You know why? Why is he successful? If a if some reason this guy, if he's a dog, why is he successful? Some reason women are flocking to this guy, so they must like him for some reason. He wouldn't be successful, right? You know what I'm saying? So women like those are something about that guy that they like, you know? So you got to find out what it is about you that's attracting these bad dudes. You might have to rethink your whole process of selecting a mate or selecting who you lay down with, man. And another thing is, you know, don't sleep with everybody, man. You know, make make the guy wait. I mean, if you're really feeling the dude and he think he's feeling you, you ain't got to sleep with him. I know a lot of dudes get mad, but it's the truth, man. Um... The lady I'm with now, right now, man, I wait a couple of months. You know what I'm saying? Months. You know, and, and, I, and I appreciate that for it because maybe respect her. We became friends before we became lovers, man. That's what you want when you start a relationship, man. You don't want your relationship built on sex because you can't spend all day in bed having sex, man. As soon as y'all got to talk, you know what I'm saying? That's how it go. And so you can't commu- uh, really connect with this person. While y'all out of bed, then you know, what kind of chance, you know, you spend most of your time out of bed. So how's the relationship going to last? You know, it's sex, you can't be sexing each other all day, 24-7. That's the only reason, that's the only way y'all can relate. That's that's impossible. That's impossible, man. So you need to find somebody you connect with, become friends before you become lovers, man. That is the best thing. That's if you're looking for somebody. If you're looking for somebody, become friends before you become lovers. Make sure that um, that friendship is what you basing is what you base on your relationship, not the sex, man. I mean, it's, I know it's hard, you know. You need some, it's some pretty young things out here, man. And, you know, you you really want to get, you know. I know how it is, man. You know, but um, when you when you control yourself like that and hold yourself in a uprightly manner, man, that's a that's it. And 
y'all still vibing and you still like you still want to be with this girl even you know you know how it is back in the day man we used to have a crush on somebody man and you, y'all falling for each other y'all digging each other man y'all had these uh them long phone calls on on the phone y'all talk all the way to the morning time come right and uh you and you look at the clock and like time passes by you might have to work man you next thing you know it's like four five o'clock in the morning y'all been talking since like 10 o'clock that night man y'all been talking for like a whole work shift man y'all been talking about eight hours on the phone man and you ain't sleeping you you you, you still want to talk to this lady girl or, you know this girl got you open man and, and he got you open and y'all just want to talk man man that's exciting man that excitement that, that infatuation man that's that that's a beautiful feeling right there man and then when you got that down, man, and that person that you just they you just vibing that person, man, you feeling that person like that, man, you, you don't want to let that feeling go, you know. So, but it's hard to stay in that moment. Uh, it's, it's crazy though, man. But uh, I'm starting to ramble a little bit on that, man. I'm, I'm about to get off this this topic, man, because I think I'm, I done beat it to death, man. I didn't got off subject and everything, but um, hope y'all enjoyed this, man. This is my first little try at this, attempt at this, man. So. Y'all feeling it? Let me know. If not, I'll, I'll cut it off, man. I might, I might find a, you know, it might be the topic. I'll find a better topic next time. But um, like I said, man, just be careful who you choose and who you, who you lay down with, man, and who you give it up to. It, you know, it ain't right, especially the ladies, man. You know, don't 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 let just let any man run up in your temple, man. You know, have some respect for yourself, man. When you when you respect yourself, you gonna make you gotta force him to respect you too, and vice versa, man. You know, act like a man, be a man. And respectful women to come to you, and good women to come to you. When he's, when you're a good man, good things can come to you, man. So, like I said, man, this is the guru. I'll let y'all fellas later. Peace.